and here's how we're going to tile around the window. Start off by tiling the top of the window recess. Support the tiles in place whilst the adhesive hardens with an offcut of wood and two battens. Then tile the sides of the window recess and finally complete the window by tiling the sill. You'll need to apply the adhesive to the back of the tiles all around the window recess. As we're only part tiling our wall and around the window, we'll apply tiles to the sides of the window recess first and finally to the sill. Apply the adhesive to the back of the cut tile as always. Fix your edge and trim in place to the edges and to the top first and then across the windowsill itself. At the corners, you'll need to mitre the edging trim. This is not at all difficult. Use a small mitre box and a junior hacksaw to make an accurate mitre joint. Remember, as always, to measure twice and cut once. Now fix the windowsill tiles in place. Don't forget the spacers. Lastly, fit the final length of edging trim and it really is worth cleaning up as you go along. It's so much easier to remove adhesive before it hardens. Once the tiling is complete around the window and the adhesive is set, remove the horizontal batten or battens. Scrape away any dried adhesive from the edge of the tiles where the batten had been fixed in place. Now complete the tiling with cut tiles to the skirting board. There you go. Thank you. Oh, that looks really great. Yes, we've finished the tiling, but now we need to leave the adhesive to set 
before we can fill the joints with grout. How long that takes depends on the type of adhesive. You need to check the manufacturer's instructions carefully. Okay. In our case, it's going to take 24 hours. Right. 